Yo, what it do, what it don't, what it is, what it isn't. You already know what this is. This is once. We're not saying magazine dedicated to shit that I'm into Zian. I'm your host, P Fire, aka P is for profit. And <laughs> this is another episode of whatever the fuck I want to talk about. And on today's episode of whatever the fuck I want to talk about, let me calm myself. Today I just want to talk about dealing with loss, dealing with grief, dealing with. I guess situations that put you under pressure, you know, like recently, well I say recently, in November last year, you know, um, my father passed away, um, he wasn't in this country, he passed away and, you know, again, and yeah, it's been since then up to now, it's been a kind of funny time, he recently got buried, you know, he's in Nigeria, he got buried on, in April I should say, so because of you know, we had to sort things out and, you know, there's election and all this and, you know, sort of making sure that, you know, we could coordinate. So, you know, it took from November till April recently, I mean, end of April, literally, um, it's about a week ago, if not, yeah, maybe just a week ago. And yeah, it, it's, it, it's kind of been a lot and it's less the loss, um, you know, because not to go into too deep of the family thing, you know, the, the connection wasn't there, you know, just because of time and separation, you know, but we won't go into that. However, it's kind of more, you know, it's that's a part of me that is no longer here. So, of course, you know, I've been trying to process that. I've not really, I've not had the tears. I've not been, you know, had the kind of moment of, oh, my God, you know, he's not here and all of that. But again, like I said, you know. It's, it's not that, you know, we've been around each other for the last 30 years or, or even more, you know. So, again, I've had, you know, I went to see him in Nigeria three years ago and I kind of made my peace with whatever issues I had, you know, and I let that go. So I think, in a way, that was me making my peace, you know, because I did have, you know, issues um, with, 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 with the whole situation. But, you know, moving forward, it's kind of like, you know, the whole situation around his passing and, you know, family members extended family members and you know realizing that you know how people behave and you know um the love and the, the the love that is given to you but also the the unexpected behaviors and the unexpected situations that come from from death and those of the, you that have lost a family member you know you probably know you know there's some infighting there's this there's that there's there's people um, coming together there's all kind of different parameters that that happen within this situation and I kind of you know I guess I wasn't really ready for that whole thing you know and again it's less about the loss and more about the overarching um, surrounding um, things that were going on and you know it kind of I was in a certain place where you know I wasn't at my best you know um, you probably noticed in that time my, my, my outputs dipped a bit on the channel um, you know I'm not really one to sort of you know, I, I'm a get on with it and, you know, I, 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 intern, I don't internalise, I, I process and I move on. I'm not really a person who sits and stews, you know, I kind of just go, okay, that's what it is, this is what it is. And, you know, I kind of move on. But, you know, I did feel a certain kind of, you know, I don't know, lull, shall we say. And again, just because of the whole situation. And, you know, in these times, you know, I just want to, you know, you know, if you guys have gone through things like this and as we all will or have, it's not the easiest and there's no right way to process or to deal with. So, you know, for example, if you've lost a, um, a, a loved one and you've not managed to cry or you, you've not managed to feel the loss, you know, don't beat yourself up. Don't think, oh my God, surely I should be breaking down and surely I should be crying or surely I should feel a certain way because everyone gets hit differently. You might be walking down the street one day and all of a sudden it hits you, the tears, you know, will come and, you know, things will go like, oh shit, where did that come from, you know? It's like, I remember I remember I lost my auntie, you know, God rest, God rest her soul, when I was 16 and, you know, like, it hit me straight away, but months and months after, even years after, like, I might just be, and it would hit me and I'd be like, you know, I'd be in tears and stuff, you know, so don't feel that everything has to come straight away, don't feel that, oh, your, your emotions have to be too script, that's not life. Do you know what I mean? So just remember that you're human and there is no way to deal with it. We're not we're not given a manual on how to deal with grief. We're not given a manual on how to deal with out um, outside forces or how to deal with um, family members who who you know um, who who are 
who are not um, giving you the support you need or, or you know, even sometimes family members and, uh, and friends who are giving you the support you need, you might not be used to be taking that support. You know, there's some people who are not used to having support. So when given support, they kind of retreat. So it's not about, oh, this person didn't do this. It could be this person did this and you're still uncomfortable. So it's just about the situation. It brings a lot of emotions. It brings a lot of things out of the woodwork. And, you know, I just want to say, you know, how I've dealt with it is just sort of understand, okay, this is life, this is part of it. You may not have expected it, you may not have been ready for it, but don't beat yourself up. Just try and um, um, anchor yourself and those people who are sort of giving you that comfort blanket. Make sure you, 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 you learn to take that, that, um, that comfort from them because, you know, it, 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 it's a beautiful thing when people will, will you know, extend their arms out to you and give you that comfort especially in times of loss and grief and you know loss and grief comes in many many forms you know it could be it could be loss of a relationship it could be loss of a loved one as to you know passing over it could be you know the loss of a job there's so many things you know but there's always the people that are around you and sometimes people you think that will be around that are not around but that's life and you know it's not about oh they should have and yeah we think that but then let that go to the side and then think about you, concentrate on how you're dealing with it, how you're processing it. And just remember that there is no right way to process these things. Just remember that, you know, there are people out there, they're not necessarily friends, family or colleagues that can help, you know, and, you know, I, I, I know that, you know, I mean, there's things like Samaritans, I'm sure Samaritans, I'm old now, so, you know, maybe Samaritans has moved on and there's other, you know, call Frank or whatever, is that just for drugs? But you know what I mean, you get what I'm saying, so don't feel that you have to suffer alone or that you're all alone in, in, in on that journey, so I just wanted to sort of share that with you, a little, you know, I guess a little insight, I don't really overdo the personal things, but I just thought I'd share that with you so you guys can understand that, yeah, you know, loss is real and we all have to deal with it and just, you know, remember that there's there's people out there. Even, you know, if you want to shout shout me and hit me up, just, again, follow me on Instagram at phoenix77, that's P-H-O-E-N-Y-X-77, or at once underscore we are not the same. Um, you know, hit me up if you're, if you're going through it. Listen, I might take a day or three to get back to you, but I'll definitely get back to you. And when I get back to you, that means I have time to chat in that moment. Like, you know, we can have a full conversation. You know, I don't like to reply to people quickly and then sort of go, you know. So I, I like to, if I reply, I reply and then, you know, stick around and see, you know, if we can chop it up, have a conversation. So, yeah, reach out to whoever you need to reach out to. I'm here for you. And, yeah, I just want to say love, light and, you know, lessons. Yeah, we all got to learn um, lessons and hopefully it makes us better people as we're moving on this journey called life. So mad love to you guys. Stay dope, stay fly. And I'm going to catch you on the flip side. Peace.